Does the universe have a purpose or destiny? Such an interest is natural for a rational being, since this is the greatest mystery that we're not yet able to unravel. Schopenhauer once said, who is not interested in the question of the universe suffers from dementia. Perhaps this is too categorical of a statement, but it does make sense. So, does the universe have a purpose? First of all, it's worth noting that the goal should be set by someone meaningful with a mind. Therefore, science usually does not operate with such a concept. It tends to use cause and effect relationships. That is, if something has appeared, then this must be preceded by a reason. The nature of people is such that they really want to humanize everything around. A predator rushing to the victim, a rapidly flying stone, it seems to a person that all of this has a purpose, for a lion to bring harm, for a cobblestone to fall on his head. In moments of danger, we don't think about the complex coding of the instincts of a wild beast or the force of gravity that tore a stone from its place. Anthropomorphism helps the Homo sapiens species to survive. Even scientists often stray into turns like in the course of evolution, animals tried to develop, or the system of units tends towards zero. But all of this is nothing more than a play on words. The same situation develops with the imaginary purpose of the universe, while most likely its existence has no purpose. For those who disagree with this statement, let's take it as an axiom that the purpose of the universe is to create us, the kings of nature and the pinnacle of evolution. But let's remember when our planet appeared and life originated on it, what happened during this period? Life on Earth did not try to kill only a pathologically lazy volcano or a passive asteroid. Other deadly factors destroyed organisms in all their diversity with great success. So, if the purpose of the universe is the creation of living organisms, then it's found a very peculiar way to prove it. Think about it. Life on Earth, and indeed in the entire galaxy, can end in an instant. That is, the universe will continue to exist, but already aimlessly. How does religion answer the question, why does the universe exist? Usually, the answer boils down to the fact that the goal of the world is to cultivate humility in a person, obedience to the will of the Creator. Many scientists, for example, Lawrence Maxwell Krauss, a physicist from the USA, or Richard Dawkins, an English evolutionary biologist, tend to think that theological theories were invented to calm the human mind. We, they say, have a goal, to serve God, the Creator. We can call it whatever you like, the meaning of this will not change. Followers of every major religion believe that an omnipotent creator created the universe out of nothing. But then God had to ask himself the question from the very beginning, where did I come from? Perhaps when a distinct phrase forms from the stars and the dark sky, I am here, or something like that, we'll have to return to this conversation, so we'll leave the question open. What is the purpose of the universe from the point of view of philosophers? It's believed that reality, whatever it may be, is the exact opposite of emptiness, like something and nothing. Philosophy speaks on this issue as follows. Reality exists because it exists. It's possible in space and time. An object without a cause is self-sufficient. Conclusion, the universe is self-sufficient. Jim Holt often repeats in his lectures that we only see a tiny part of reality. Surely, the world is much larger and more diverse. For example, a set of physical canons that's familiar to us may be absolutely useless in an alternative reality since other laws operate in it. Even for adherents of different religions, the universe appears different. For Christians, it's a place where spiritual qualities are brought up through trials and suffering. And for Buddhists, the goal of the universe is renunciation of desires and going to nirvana. So what is the true meaning of the universe? Does it exist? Unfortunately, there are still many questions in this area, but no intelligible answers. 
There's another aspect of the problem of the existence of the universe, and it's quite unexpected. Recently, at CERN, physicists conducted a study that proved that the universe really shouldn't exist at all. For the layman, this conclusion can be illustrated as follows. A person looks at an apple, clearly sees it. But the Department of Physics, headed by the Dean, unanimously claims that the fruit does not exist. Why do scientists deny the obvious? Measurements of the magnetic properties of the proton and antiproton were carried out, the results of which stunned the scientific world. It turned out that the parameters of the particles are absolutely identical. This means that the alleged properties of the universe born from the singularity are incorrect. That is, the Big Bang is a fantasy of an inflamed imagination. As they say, checkmate. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, as Carl Sagan liked to say. But facts are a stubborn thing. While well, humanity wanders blindly in three pines, not even suspecting why the world in which it lives appeared. Perhaps it's worth remembering that out of the variety of genetic connections, the number of which fluctuates between the Google and the Googleplex, a unique creature has emerged. Man. We are different. We exist. We think. We create in the vastness of a universe that has appeared for no reason. Is there really no point in this? Remember, each of us is a winner in the space lottery, with which the Hubble Channel congratulates all viewers.